Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm here with Hello Kitty World, uh, a Japanese game that only released in Japan, but I found a translation for. Why am I playing this? I don't know. I play a lot of <laughs> Hello Kitty games <laughs> on the channel. <laughs> here we see Hello Kitty's friend being taken by balloons. I was told by the internet that this is basically a balloon fight. So, let's see how this kind of goes. Okay. It does not have the same frame rate as Balloon Fight. I can tell you that much. All right, let's go. Immediately starting in here. Hello Kitty's greatest foes, a bunch of birds. Attempt to stop her by, I assume, destroying my balloons if I ever get to them. That's all right. All right. So far, so good. Oh shit, my balloons! Okay, no, no, good, we're good. All right. I, I have to be careful because apparently the B button is let go of balloons. <laughs> I did not know that until I pressed the B button. Alright. Enjoy our nice stroll. See if we can see Hello Kitty's friends. We see the invasion of pinkish birds. Doesn't really look like there's many foes to Hello Kitty. Seems it's just birds on their regular day-to-day -day lives and they just so happen to interact with Hello Kitty during this time of her friend being stolen. I'm gonna miss that balloon, it's fine. I'm gonna avoid that extremely dangerous fire. Avoided. Oh god. Okay, no, we're fine. This does not control amazingly. <laughs> I know this is gonna sound crazy to hear. No way. Am I gonna need every single balloon before they let me go into the strawberry door? That'd be crazy if that was the answer. Alright. No, whoa. Watch out for the bird. No, kitty. Okay. Oh, I got my super power up now. These birds are fucked. Take that, bird. Take that walking fire. Oh, God. This is still not very easy to control. Uh, This plays what people think Balloon Fight would likely play like if they had never played Balloon Fight. There we go. I still have Ends of Invincibility, so I guess there's no reason for me not to just completely wreck all these birds. There's an extra heart here. Oh, uh, whoop. Oh, yeah. That's a pro gamer move right there. I went for the heart and was able to keep my balloon at the same time. Let's go. I wonder how you die in this. <laughs> I wonder if this is actually endless, because, uh... Oh, it something feels like this is never ending. This is the longest level one I've ever seen in a video game. Ah, wait, okay. I can confirm now that bird does not hurt me because I was on the side of it and it did not do anything. But it's alright. If the bird doesn't want to start any beef, then I'm not going to start beef with that bird. We can live in peaceful tranquility. I finished level one. Let's go. That bird is in the fire. Rip that bird. Hello Kitty slowly descends down. What is your wisdom, Hello Kitty? All right, she just wanted to dance a little bit to congratulate on finishing the stage. I guess uh, five because I got to keep all five of my lives? I don't know. How long will this, li this dance go on? Feels kind of rude to just kind of stop her mid-dance. All right, here's some points because I had six extra lives. Times, I guess we're a hundred, no, it's a hundred points times the number of balloons. All right. Level 2, let's go. Looks a lot like the beginnings of level 1. Oh, but this time there's killer bees. Alright, we avoided those killer bees. What the hell is that? Some kind of insect type creature. Pincer? That is not whatever animal pincer is. <laughs> I don't know the animal pincer is based off of. Beetle! He's a beetle. There you go, it's a beetle. I can't believe I forgot that Pinsir was a beetle for a brief moment there. Caterpillar, also extremely dangerous. Alright, there's no, literally zero reason for me to continue on. Ah, oh, see, that was smart. If I had gone in, 
half cocked like that, I would have lost two, one of my balloons. Possibly two. And we can't have that. Oh god. Killer bee. Protecting its honeycomb. Can I steal the honeycomb? Well, not that I know how to actually go into the honeycomb, so let's just avoid that for now. Oh god. Watch out for the kind of blur. No, hell kitty. There we go. Okay, we're fine. Oh god, the bee! No, it's fine. Billy like Kitty's ten times better on the floor than she is on in the air. But maybe that's the balance the game is asking you to have. Holy shit, it's a crocodile. Or an alligator. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh! No! No! My balloons! <laughs> I lost everything. Even though you aren't on the balloons, Kitty still has a terrible jump. Okay, I got it this time. Nah, I'm leaving him behind. Okay, there we go. It was a one-up. That's what I... Yeah, that was definitely worth it. Oh, I can just die again? Alright, Dormammu, I've come to bargain! Alright. How do I get more balloons? I didn't think I'd ever get this far. Oh, I had to blow him up myself? Okay, there we go. It is like Balloon Fight. Except for in Balloon Fight, you don't do that yourself, typically. Not that I could remember. Uh, thank God for the simplicity of older games that I was able to realize surely one of these six buttons does something. <laughs> that gives me back balloons, because <laughs> there's no way for me to beat this game without any balloons whatsoever. There we go. Oh yeah. Easy. Easiest game. It's almost like they made this game for babies. Specifically baby girls back in the 1980s, likely. Oh god. I literally ran into that beetle and it did not hurt me. I should have never said anything. Okay, we need to get on the floor and recuperate before Kitty takes any more damage. Oh god, don't drown! Oh, fish! Aw, oh, damn it. All right, we're in a precarious situation here. It's okay, I saved it. Boom, just like that. Hello Kitty, back in the game. Oh no, now that I know that I can just get these back, this game becomes much easier. There we go. Not many games back then just let you get your lives back so easily. It was the regenerating health of its day. This Hello Kitty would later on go on to inspire Call of Duty and its regenerating health. Oop. Okay, I'm in the strawberry door now. Oh, so you have to go in here without your strawberries. Uh, without your um, balloons, I mean. Alright, it's a bonus game. Yeah! Bonus! Even though I'm not sure why you would ever want so many balloons. It, I'm sure they give you a life or something. I mean, points. Points mattered back in the day. They don't matter so much anymore. Unless you're, like, esporting e it, I guess. In which case, your kill-death ratio does matter. Not in Hello Kitty, though. Where? There it is. Okay. That's almost all of them. That's all of them. Ye extra life get. Let's go. Easy. I also have a feeling that this this fire is going to have to do better if it's going to get the, the best of me. It did learn how to walk, but it's going to need to learn more than how to walk to stop Hello Kitty. What the fuck is that? Is that a dog? It's a boss fight? Alright, he's gonna try throwing hands with me, so I can only assume I can do- I have to fight it exactly like Balloon Fight. And hit it on the head. Oh god. Alright. We got this? Yeah. Yup! Yup! I have no idea how you're supposed to fight this thing! Come on. Yeah. Eat that. Take that. Sir. Sir, please. Sir. 
Something's gonna have to give, and let me tell you, I have balloons and I can do this all day. I don't have anywhere to go. I'm over here playing Hello Kitty, you're out here trying to beat Hello Kitty. We are playing two fundamentally different games. How do you fight this guy? I don't have a weapon, I don't think I have a weapon. Again, there's only two buttons. Oh god! <laughs> I should not have pressed the one button that let go of all my balloons. <laughs> All right, well, how do we fight that guy? He literally is immune to everything. Hello Kitty doesn't really have strength at the moment. You know, uh, how the fuck do I fight this thing? This might actually be one of the hardest bosses I've ever fought in a video game because I have absolutely no idea what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. Maybe if I do this enough times, he'll just fall into the water and die. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got this. Fall in the water and die. Okay, that's not the answer. Alright. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing here. Not 100% sure. Maybe if I go over here, he'll try and fight me over here. No, it looks like I'll just create an insta-death space for me if I actually open the water. Okay, now we're fine. Do Maybe I have to drop on top of him, like Titanfall. Okay, wait for it. Alright, kitty. You have one job here. That was, in fact, the answer. Oh, God. Okay, okay. We got this, we got this. You have to use the power of gravity. This game is just teaching you new things. This is Sir Isaac Newton would be extremely proud that someone was continuing the laws of gravity without him being there. Oh god. What? Oh shit. Oh god. I died because Hello Kitty's jumping is not the greatest. Alright, but this time I know what to do. It's okay, we have like four lives. I can easily beat this boss in four lives. Squirrely jumping be damned. Oh god. Oh, did you see that sick maneuver though? Oh! Okay. Alright, kitty. Blow him up. Okay, time to drop on top. Have to be in the exact right space! Oh god. Please leave me alone, sir. Oh! So you can only hit him when you're... Oh god. Come on, rule of three says that has to have killed him. Okay, we're good. So somehow your jump is lighter when you're on the balloons versus when you're not. I guess that's just physics. Alright, go kitty. She descends once again onto the mortal plane to potentially dance in celebration of the defeat of that weird dog person that she just fought. I mean, there's dogs in the Hello Kitty universe, and that did not look like any dog that I know from the Hello Kitty Sanrio extended universe. Yeah. Dance it out, kitty. Alright. Let's see what you got next. She looks at the board. She says, yo, check this out. Look at all these sick points that you got. And I somehow got an extra life, even though I was pretty sure I was only on four there at the end. Alright, stage copter start. Oh god. Oh shit. Now it is just like Balloon Fight. Now it's what it was missing from this game. Actual Balloon Fighting. Oh god. Alright, alright, come here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh my god, the game is going like 60 frames per second here. I'm trying to just live. Oh god, fish. I need to get my second balloon real quick. Oh god, I didn't realize that it was a giant spike. It's fine. I navigate that with finesse. No one would ever know that I had no idea what I was doing. Alright, here we go. Okay. Boom. 
more birds. So as long as you don't go directly below the birds. Oh god. That crab had my number. Alright, let's go. We're fine. So it's 100 balloons. Maybe equals one life? No. Crabs activate. They scuttle, trying to get me. But it's okay. The game's going way faster now. Go, 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 go. Okay. Okay, okay. We're fine. Uh, okay. Ah. We are now in an air battle with this birds. Oh god. Okay, please don't be a crab here. I need to very quickly get both of my balloons back up. There we go. Yeah, you get it, Hello Kitty. Ignore the vast majority of these balloons, because you don't need all of them. Step on that bird while you're at it as well. Fucking birds. Why do you even need a balloon, bird friend? Ah! Level done. Was that the entire level? <laughs> Wait, no, she does this for every level. I, For some reason, I thought that was like the end of an entire world. Kitty, you're ups down. Says that was a harrowing adventure. That was honestly the hardest level in this game so far. Level three. So it can only get easier from this point on. That was to uh, weed out all the people who aren't really into this Hello Kitty stuff. Now this is for the true gamers coming in level 4. This is like the victory lap. Alright, let's go. Stage whale start. Am I inside the whale like in Pinocchio? I am. Doop doop. What is inside of this whale? Shrimp? Yeah, shrimp and octopus. I wonder if the inside of a whale is actually like how you see in a Disney movie, where there's like an entire ecosystem of living animals inside of the whale. Because at this point, so many years, I've been convinced that that is how whales actually function. That they eat things whole, and therefore they live in their bellies. But then how does a whale actually eat then? No, things have to die the immediate, the, like the second they go inside of a whale. <laughs> because now that, that I think about it, if something lives inside of a whale and you're just chilling out living in the whale, did the whale actually eat anything? What is actually the function going on here? If you're a whale biologist, feel free to answer my questions because now I'm actually kind of like curious. Strawberry door. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. If you eat something that's alive, then are you are you still hungry? What satiates hunger? It's when something enters your stomach. But does it have to be alive? I mean, you can eat live like octopuses and stuff. I think. But I don't know. It's different from the way like a whale eats it. Like you can eat a live octopus, but then when you're eating a live octopus, um. It obviously dies, because you are not eating the octopus whole. You know what I mean? It's not like a whale. The whale is swallowing the entire thing. It's eating you whole. So, and I don't think he's chewing either, because what would be the point of chewing? You're so small at that point. There you go, one up. I mean, what's the equivalent of, like, that to something you eat but you don't chew? Oh no, it's a dead fish. That's what's currently flying at me and attacking Hello Kitty. This is a hellscape level. Why did you enter the whale, Kitty? This might be one of the worst ideas you've ever had. We'll be safe here. Oh, it's another strawberry door. I need the live. I lost so many in the previous level. Hmm. I mean, what do you eat whole without actually, like, hmm. 
I mean, nothing, really. No, I missed one. Damn it. I was too flabbergasted thinking. It would have been really funny if it turns out that, that was, there's only one of those doors and I've just been in an endless loop this entire time. <gasps> Invincibility. Oh, fuck me. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to do that. I have to be very careful here. I say minutes after almost dying. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Kitty, come on now. Oh god. I tried to go to the top for safety thinking that it would be okay, but no, it's not okay. Nothing is okay here in Kitty World. You think you're safe and then the next second you know you're being eaten by a whale. What is going on up there? Uh, this is where I'm going to lose all my life. Maybe this isn't the victory lap I thought it was. Maybe this really is the true test of all the gamers. <gasps> Invincibility. Let's go. Eat shit. Fuck you. And this thing lasts a while, too. <laughs> so I have, I have no fear going forward. It almost feels like the game was having pity on me and just put that forward, but <laughs> surely not. I mean, we had seen previously that I had a chance to spawn! The fire is an instant KO. <laughs> Good to know. Though really, I'm surprised that even in this game there are instant KOs, to be honest. You know... This game is supposed to be for children, I think. So, putting in instant KOs like it's Mega Man seems cruel. You goddamn octopus. I swear to god, if I die because of this octopus... Forever beefing with octopus. Don't! Okay, we're back. Okay, okay, okay. This has to be the end of the level. I refuse to believe that there's more level to this. Is it a boss fight? Oh shit. Oh god. Get the second, get the- It's a boss fight? Really? You're gonna make me fight a crawdad up in here? Okay. How am I supposed to fight this thing? First of all, can I even touch the top? I can touch the top. There's no way that I have to... Okay. Oh, I'm gonna be so angry if the answer is, is I have to hit him with the normal jump. I have zero confidence in my ability to hit this thing with a... <sighs> Okay, this actually might be one of the hardest bosses in all video games, <laughs> because the Hello Kitty's jump is not good. So you have to safely hit them and then run for safety. I refuse to do it unless he's close. Nope. Closer. Nope. A little bit closer. Ah, oh, damn it. That would have been perfect that was if I was directly there. No! <laughs> this is an extremely hard boss. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do here. How the fuck are you supposed to fight this thing? Ever one wrong move and you're dead. All right. All right. All right. Shit! I feel like I had the right idea there. I feel like I have to use momentum and carry myself to the next spot. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, calm down. Calm down, kitty. Calm down! And uh, that's the last of my life. They play the sad song over it. Game over. Is that, uh, start from the beginning game over? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> no! 
Well, everyone, that was Kitty's adventure. I tried. I don't know. Uh, the game seemed extremely easy up until I got to that boss fight. And then all of a sudden, that boss got way hard out of nowhere. That's the way it is in Kitty World, I guess. I wonder how many levels are in this, actually. Let me look up the game facts. See if the... Like, obviously, there's got to be, like, a deep uh, competitive nature to Kitty World. Kitty World levels? Uh, Kitty World balloon fight. I was halfway through the game. There was flower, mushroom, airplane, whale, umbrella, snowman, mouse, hat. So I was at at four out of eight, and then that boss just completely threw me for a loop. All right. Well, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. That was Hello Kitty World. Uh, Hello Kitty refuses to move forward. Probably because I lost all connection to my controller. But it's fine. Kitty will slowly go to the fire, and we'll end it after she dies. Thank you. This is the slow, agonizing death of Yellow Kitty. There she goes. Till next time, everyone. Have a good day. Goodbye. She's fine.